Good morning. This is a video I've shot. I'm shooting for uh, about a Kimber 45. This is a handgun that I bought oh five or six years ago, and it's done very well for me. But the problem is, I wanted to have a weapons mount mounted to the front of the frame and. I don't believe at the time that this particular model of Kimber came with a rail. So, what I ended up having to do is to change this one. For this one. This is a full-size Kimber stainless TLE RL2 and 45 ACP. As you can see, it does come with the, the light rail. So then, what I was able to get from Surefire this little guy. This is a Surefire X400U for Ultra, the green laser. And what this little guy does is this mounts to the rail like that. And what's nice about this laser weapons light is that it can be controlled with this toggle switch up or down or you can push on it with your finger on either side and it comes on momentarily. So you've got the off position, you've got green laser, you've got green laser with light, you've got just the light, or off at the other end of the switching selection. You don't have to come all the way back to the beginning to go off. You just rotate it one more position. So then I had to go and get another holster and so I picked up this one. Ignore this part for the moment. And this one fits, this is Kydex on both sides. But then I always like to carry extra mags with me and I don't want to have an additional thing hanging off my belt someplace else. So what I did was I went to Comtac and I purchased a spare magazine holder that actually is designed for a double stack Glock. But since this, these are single stack 45 mags, they kind of equal the same thickness as a double stack Glock, which holds two of these guys perfectly. And then I just attach this to the holster via the screws that came with it. So now, This is a perfect little package for concealed carry. 
and I put this in the small of my back and it fits just perfectly you don't even hardly even know it's there it, it fits in that curvature of your back so well but then with this one I had purchased the 22 conversion kit for it well that's fine for the pro model so then I had to go <laughs> had to go and get this little guy This is the conversion barrel and magazine and I'll show you just how easy it is to convert basically you push the slide forward till you get the little so you get this little round curvature spot on the slide. You slide that up to the to the ejection lock, slide lock. You pull out that guy. Then you keep your fingers and heel of your thumb web off of this safety. You pull this whole thing forward, and it disconnects. Then all you do then is take your 22 conversion, put it on the frame like that, push forward, and then as you're probably aware of, you have to line the holes up again for the slide block get that curve thing on 22 conversion slide lined up that presses in and then you've got your 22 long rifle rimfire <coughs> set up using your 45 ACP 1911 frame and the conversion also comes with one 10 rand magazine and you can buy others as well so <clears throat> that's pretty much that so enjoy the, your handguns <laughs>